for my next experiment, I've come here to the town center of Las Vegas, but I can't do it alone, so say hello to my little friend. What's that? Rubber bands. What happens if I put loads of those around the middle of that? They're going to pop. They'd probably pop off. I don't know. Try. That's a good idea. So I've recruited a fearless team of daredevils to carry out the experiment. All right. How many rubber bands <laughs> will it take to explode that? 42. Why 42? Is that your age? Actually, yeah. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many? 60. Right, dude. 35. Because 35. I wish I was 35. Yeah. Anyone anymore? 235. Wow, you look amazing. Yes, my wife is beautiful. Right, 235. Rubber bands to break that. Should we do this? Let's do it. Yes, Grab do a stack it. and let's right. get on with this. Okay. On goes the first one. On goes number two. Ooh. You said how many? 35. And it's not exploded yet. It has not exploded. Right, okay. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be a big job. Come on over. Don't be scared of a watermelon. There's a stack of those. Take these. Right, guys, everybody over here, can you come and help out? Do you want to do this? Come on, then. 42. 43, 44, you're out already by two. You said 60. Uh -huh. This is it for the big 6-0. After this, we said 230. Okay. Right, you're the only one left with how many? 235. 235. 100. Anyone nervous? It's gone very quiet. You can hear a pin drop. How much more can this thing take? <laughs> 173 rubber bands. Look at the shape of this thing now. You can see it's bowing. I'm upping it to two bands at a time, or we're going to be here all day. Four. 234 to 236. 236. Yeah, you know it's close. You guys were all wrong who guessed. You said 235, the highest one. We're already at 270. 290. 296. The adrenaline is pumped in here. 322, that is elongating, that is ready to burst. 324. <laughs> 326. <laughs> She's, it's 328. Oh, look at it, it's leaking. Go, go. This melon is being squeezed by 338 rubber bands. But how many will it take to blow? They're chickens, the chickens. Ready? Come on. It's like the alien <laughs> pod. That's like the <laughs> alien pod. <laughs> One watermelon. <laughs> so the closest answer was 235. The thing about rubber bands is when you stretch one out like that, you're actually charging it up with energy. That now possesses energy, OK? You put energy into that. It's called elastic potential energy. The rubber band wants to return to its original shape and exerts a force on the watermelon. Therefore, the more rubber bands, the more elastic potential energy squeezing the watermelon. Eventually, you get to a point whereby there are just too many rubber bands. Watermelon versus rubber bands, and rubber bands win. All that elastic potential energy is released, squashing the watermelon. Come on. What's it called? What's it called? Elastic potential energy. Give him a round of applause, please. I love taking science to the streets.